This is a good segue question. So this is coming mm -hmm. from Patricia, and she's asking, are healing crystals bad? Should Christians use them? If not, why not? Healing Christians, crystals are really bad, not just kind of bad. How, can, how bad can I make them? Yeah. What you're saying is that the healing power is not the cross of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and not the stripes of Jesus Christ and not his sacrifice for you, not his eternal power. You're going to put it into some little stone. Are you out of your mind? Here's what God says about these magic charms. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am a against your magic charms by which you hunt souls. They're like birds. I will tear them from your arms and let the souls go, the souls you hunt. Mm -hmm. These things are trying to trap your soul and get you to believe, well, this happened, this great miracle happened to me because I had this magic stone. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that stuff. It's got nothing to do with Christianity. In God's eyes, it's an idol. It's an abomination. Don't put anything between you and God Almighty, anything over the sacrifice of the cross. Am I being strong enough? Amen. <laughs> amen and amen. All right, here's another question. This is Ryan. I have heard what I think is the most beautiful Christian thought that I've ever heard. Jesus can be a feeling in your heart, even though you don't know that feeling by his name. What does the 700 Club say? Well, John Wesley talked about his heart being strangely warmed, and that was his conversion experience. It was a, something he was meditating on scripture and praying, and, and he had this experience on, on ship. So, so you know, it, can there be a feeling in your heart and, and can your heart be warmed? Absolutely, and, and I love those things. But Jesus is a whole lot more. Uh, I encourage all Christians everywhere, read the book of Colossians. Get your theology about who Jesus is. He's the Alpha, he's the Omega. By him and through him, all things were made. Don't reduce him down to some feeling. Realize he is the Lord God and he is wonderful. That is his name in the Bible and let's cherish that.